Hi, and welcome to the St. Rose Dominican Hospital's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. This unit is a level three NICU where almost every type of high risk, premature, and sick infant can be cared for. Having your precious baby in the NICU is never an easy experience. It is scary and sometimes traumatic. St. Rose is here to help you and your family feel as comfortable as possible in our hospital's NICU and hope that this video tour will help you become acquainted with the environment in which your baby will be staying as well as understand some of the care your baby will receive while here. St. Rose Dominican Hospitals has two neonatal intensive care units. The Siena campus has a level three NICU treating our most high risk and premature infants and San Martin campus has a level two NICU treating our less acute infants. There may come a time when your infant's condition may require a transfer to one or the other units for a different type of care. This is a delicate decision made with your baby's health put first and parents' desires and comfort next. Your baby will receive the same high level of care at each facility. The staff at the Siena Campus's NICU provides family-centered care, which means we want and encourage you to be a part of your baby's care in the NICU. You're welcome to visit anytime. Visiting hours are 24 hours a day. You and your family may be in the NICU whenever and as often as you choose and feel is right for your family. You are encouraged to bond, touch, hold, bathe, change, and feed your baby as often as is appropriate for his or her condition. This will help make your baby's transition home occur more smoothly. You can bring visitors to your baby's bedside as long as one person with a hospital band remains at the bedside with that visitor. If you would like a sibling to visit, please talk with the charge nurse about our sibling visitation policy as it changes based on the season. Access to the NICU is gained through these double doors. First, you will ring the bell to your left, then someone inside who can see you on the camera will buzz you in. The unit remains locked at all times for everyone's safety. Each time you enter the NICU, you and any visitors must wash your hands at the sink for three minutes, from fingertip to elbow, then use the sanitizing gel after drying your hands. Infection prevention and control are taken very seriously in the NICU, so your assistance in making sure you and your visitors always wash is appreciated. Remember, any germs you bring in could be potentially harmful, even fatal to your infant, so this is very important. Hand washing is also necessary after touching your cell phone or camera and after diaper changes before touching your baby again. If you or your loved ones are sick, please don't come to the NICU. Staying away is incredibly difficult, but our staff will do our best to stay in communication with you while you are recuperating. Please see your doctor to find out when it's safe for you to return. Let's discuss your baby's bedside. There will be a great deal of equipment, monitors, and pumps at your baby's bedside, which may seem scary and overwhelming at first. Let's review some of the basic equipment so you will feel a little more familiar with it. First, the monitor will track your baby's heart rate, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation level, and blood pressure. The monitor will be set to specific ranges for each of these measures for your baby, and will sound an alarm if anything is out of proper range. Next are the IV and medication pumps. Fluids and medications are set through pumps and delivered to your baby via IV, based on physician orders. The next most common pieces of equipment you will see are respiratory equipment. The NICU has several types of oxygen delivery systems available, and your baby may be on a number of them based on his or her condition at different times during the stay. The neonatologist, with the help of the bedside nurse and respiratory therapist, will decide which type of ventilation is used for your baby. This is determined by your baby's overall condition, x-ray results, and blood work. Care for each infant in the St. Rose NICU is personalized because every infant has different needs and yes, even likes and dislikes. Premature and sick infants require very low stimulation, so St. Rose tries our best to provide a quiet, dimly lit environment whenever possible. Parents are encouraged to assist with cluster care, which simply means that all care is done at one time so that the infant can get back to its safe, womb-like environment and rest, heal, and grow. As a parent, this may mean that because of your baby's fragile condition, you may not always be able to hold or touch him or her. Understandably, this is very difficult because as a new parent, you want to look at, play with, snuggle, caress, and love your baby. The staff in the NICU wants that for you too, 
and the time will come when your baby is physically able to receive and respond to this type of attention. Until then, you will be encouraged to do everything you can for your baby in other ways. This may mean providing a clean cloth with mom's scent, low stimulation touching instead of stroking, changing diapers during cluster care, assisting with weight checks or hygiene, and pumping breast milk or breastfeeding. St. Rose has taken great strides in creating the best possible environment for successful breastfeeding. Protection of your milk supply is a priority in our NICU. Frequent expression of milk by hand and or pump and skin-to-skin -skin contact between mother and baby are priorities to assist in your baby's growth and in promotion of a unique emotional connection. Privacy is always provided with curtains available. Please feel free to ask any one of our knowledgeable nurses for assistance. St. Rose encourages and supports breast milk and breastfeeding in our NICU. Giving your baby the best is our highest priority. Please talk openly with your baby's nurse about what you can do for your baby, how you can be involved, and coordinating your visiting times with the baby's care times. The NICU staff at St. Rose understands and sympathizes that your family is going through such a scary time. But please know that we're here for you every step of the way. The well-being of your baby with a safe, healthy discharge home for all of you is the primary concern. This video tour has been created to help ease some of your fears. But please feel free to ask your nurses and doctors about the specifics of your baby's care. Thank you for watching and congratulations on your precious little bundle.